Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day right here in the city of Abuja and uh, it's nice to have you back on this channel, JTV Sports. Yes, um, well, I'm just, you know, relaxing, uh, enjoying myself uh, this uh, lovely day and um, I just got uh, uh, this news uh, coming from the Nigerian Football Federation. No, you know, uh, since the fallout, uh, since... Uh, uh Ghanaians or the black stars of ghana um clinched the tickets uh, to qatar 2022 um well uh, it has not been the same for nigeria again um the issue of um the sports ministry and uh, the nigerian football federation um trying to find out what actually happened uh, it, it's still it's still uh, on uh, on the ground here uh, in the country. Yes, uh, the news now reaching us uh, indicates that the sports ministry has you know queried the Nigerian Football Federation. Um, a source from uh, the Nigerian Football Federation you know confirmed uh, the later and that uh, there will be a meeting between the, the two parties come tomorrow. Now, uh, the, the content of the later is what is laughable here, as far as I'm concerned. Um, according to the source, they said the ministry is demanding an explanation uh, from the Nigerian Football Federation uh, over the failure of the Super Eagles to clinch the ticket. <laughs> and, and that is really funny, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the NFF, uh, the, the sports ministry, is trying to uh, exonerate itself from uh, uh, from the fiasco, uh, from what you know happened. Uh, it's trying to ask the Nigerian Football Federation now to take full responsibility and to explain uh, to it why uh, the, the 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 you know the, the Super Eagles uh, couldn't you know uh, performed well that they all disappointingly you know performed uh, you know on the, on the 29th of March. Uh, in the MK Abiola Stadium, disappointed a lot of fans, uh, which led to the destruction of the stadium, of vandalism of the stadium. And so the big question that we are asking is, um, uh, why, why the query? Why the query? I think uh, both parties uh, are supposed to share the responsibility. Uh, but uh, that is, you know, the, the, the feelers we are getting from the Nigerian Football Federation, that the ministry has queried them to explain in total, to explain to them uh, why the Eagles couldn't you know, clinch the tickets uh, to the World Cup. And again, we are also um, hearing that the presidency is interested in this meeting. The presidency will be present at the meeting uh, come Monday, uh, the, uh, the 4th of April. And so uh, what we'll do is to... Um, is to put our ears on the ground and so that uh, we'll make sure that we get all the necessary you know, information that you deserve uh, from this uh, uh, meeting. Okay, and uh, let's see what uh, uh, the NFF will want to say was the reason why the Eagles could not fly on the 29th uh, you know, of March against the Black Stars of Ghana. All right, and... Um, there has been calls for the Nigerian Football Federation President Amadou Finik uh, to resign. Um, the Algeria, you know, uh, football uh, executive uh, all resigned uh, following the failure of the uh, of the team to clinch the tickets at home. Uh, but uh, for that of Nigeria, what actually happened was uh, uh, the technical crew that uh, all uh, you know that we were fired. The Gabon resigned and the rest were fired. That was all that has happened. So far, so good. Uh, but uh, the point we are also making is that uh, um, the, 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 uh, those at the hands of affair at the Glass House, uh, sorry, at the Nigerian Football Federation, as it is called now, um, should also go. And that is exactly what a lot of people are saying. Pinnick, uh, Pinnick um, who is the head, of uh, the NFF um, has refused to say anything regarding that, whether it should go or not to go. And I think that is um, uh, the pressure that is being mounted now on him and, of course, the others who are uh, 
uh, you know, who are members of the executive, uh, you know, uh, board of the NFF. And so uh, that is um, the situation uh, right now in Nigeria. It's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's all confusion, confusion. Everybody uh, trying to exonerate itself uh, from what, you know, happened and so on and so forth. Uh, so um, I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for tuning in. And uh, we just hope to keep you abreast uh, with uh, the developments uh, from Nigeria regarding um, the inability of the super egos uh, uh, to be in Qatar and, um, and all the fallouts, all the uh, situations surrounding, <laughs> surrounding it. All right. Uh, so please, all you need to do is to uh, hit that subscription button and uh, the notification bell is also there. Please drop a comment on the comment section. Um, the, just let me know what's, uh, uh, what's in your mind and what you think about uh, this information coming uh, from Nigeria. Once more, my name is OJ Matthew. Um, enjoying the sun, enjoying the weather uh, here in Abuja. Uh, thank you and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.